that look to is the most prevalent mutations, not only in the Western population, but in Asians, because my country is in Asia, and we also have a specific risk poly polymorphisms that will increase the risk of Parkinson's disease. And no matter whether you carry the look to mutation or not, even you carry the specific risk polymorphisms, the kinase activity will be increased. And that will benefit from the current look to kinase inhibitors, which is ongoing for the phase two clinical trial. And also we have uh, the antisense oligonucleotide targeting the look to gene, which is also in the clinical trial. And in addition to look two, there is a very prevalent genetic risk factor that is a GBA. A GBA gene has a several risk variants that will also increase the risk of Parkinson's disease. So we know there are a lot of clinical trials targeting the GBA, trying to boost the GBA, kind of, uh, GBA enzyme activity to help slow down the disease progression. So although the preliminary data is not good, the trial has failed. But there are many other study groups trying to identify uh, other strategies to boost the lysosome functions of the neuronal cells. So uh, in conclusion, if we know the specific genetic variants, we will know whether it will respond to a specific kind of treatment. And we will also know the disease progression rate. For example, if patients carry the GBM mutation, they will easily progress and combined with the PD with dementia. So for clinicians, it is quite important to know their genetic background. 